hello everyone welcome in my channel uh, windows form today i'm going to show you the next module of a library management system that is a returning form uh, through which uh, we can update some uh, table data or you can say some update uh, some updation operation in uh, database entries like uh, issue return form uh, as well as uh, the book table so just use the context class by using the context class you can pick uh, all the data from a database table so uh, first of all update the book entry as well as the returning form sorry uh, issue table so uh, use issue book by student equals to context dot issue book by student so just context dot issue books dot where x dot isb number is used it here double equals to dot and uh, also enrollment number of the students and also a true and the false property in the issue book table so you can use issue written property is set to true x dot issue written equals to true and getting the first or default only the single item uh, at this time uh, you can say uh, the single tuple from the database table so here the ISPN uh, text box name is ISPN text dot text okay by using this uh, enter uh, by using this uh, query you retrieve the single tuple from the issue uh, and written uh, table and also update that table by using the issue written property is set to false so, so issue book by student dot issue written equals to false if you submit the book uh, to the your uh, librarian then set to the false after that also update in the book table by uh, by using the quantity uh, attribute so book equals to context dot books dot where get the isb uh, get the book isbn number and get a single book quantity so book dot quantity is incremented by one because the book is deposited to the librarian so quantity will update it by one and after that you can perform a save changes operation in the database so after that you can show a message box also now you can uh, add the man form in the whole applications so you can use man form where you can use uh, menu type and MDI form you can uh, also use it here so properties is MDI container property of the form is set to true for making that form is multiple document interface so properties is MDI container is set to true now after that you can add a menu strip at the top level in the menu strip we have some uh, item we have some item related to the books we have some item related to the issue details and also the last one is related to the students detail okay the, in the first uh, item in the book section that is add new book the second one is remove uh, added book or you can say already existing book and add new category that is the second item remove book and remove category 
so this is the section of the book issue detail you can uh, issue book and uh, written book section in the student section you get all this uh, issue and uh, uh, deposited book date in the student entry so student details for issue and written so thank you guys for watching this video and continue to the next section that is handling tool strip menu item that is the click uh, event when uh, double click on the add new book uh, section here you can use mdi container so use manage book when we click on the add new book then must to open manage book uh, must to add the object of the manage book and uh, that window will open in the mdi container window so you can use show method instead of show dialog so similarly that thing uh, uh, you can use this with the category also so category dot mdi con uh, mdi parent is this and category dot show dialog sorry you can use show uh, show method instead of show dialog main form now start this here you are getting a exception form that is in the top level form that is already discussed in the previous uh, video tutorial so use show method instead of show dialog add new book now after that you can uh, do the same thing uh, for the remove book so uh, that code is just copy and paste at here and remove category so some changes in the ui of the section of the manage category also you can add it uh, for the remove section also so remove book uh, in the text section you can use remove category and uh, here you can use combo box just add button control and also add it that is remove okay that's fine now after that i will manage in the next video tutorial so guys uh, thank you for uh, watching this video and keep watching all the other remaining videos how to handle all these problems and uh, in the later video session i will complete the unit of work library project um, and uh, many other things like a model view controller how to handle uh, how to handle that problem using the mvc pattern okay so oh, wait for some times and uh, i will uh, complete all the all such things in windows form so just uh, subscribe my channel and uh, also press the bell icons if you want to learn many more about c sharp so search issue form issue book and many more so please don't forget please 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 subscribe my channel if you like this video also like that and uh, share on your instagram facebook and uh, any other platforms so thank you very much for watching this video